I don't know about you guys, but I've been keeping a close eye on Bitcoin lately. And I think that there's something going on, something interesting, something to keep an eye on at this area right here at the $9,000 area. Something to keep a close eye on. We're going to talk about it here in this video, look at a chart and pull it up and just talk about Bitcoin in general. What's going on? Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, it's happening. It's down, it's up, it's all around. Let's take a look in this video. All right, all right, I know. I've made videos in the past talking about Bitcoin not being a buy. Well, I'm back and I've changed my mind because of what I'm seeing here on the chart. Now, I've made a video, uh, I made a video, what was it, back in March when I talked about this kind of similar pattern going on at the bottom down here. You know, we we're consolidating. I don't know about you guys, but I like consolidation. That just shows me that, you know, by looking at the price of Bitcoin, that we've kind of found like a an area of support, you know, a median area where like, hey, we haven't we haven't really dipped below there in a while. You know, people are kind of buying. The RSI is getting low. Not that I really care about the RSI, but you know, in general, when I'm looking at the overall bigger picture, I want to see, you know, are we oversold? Are we underbought? You know, what is going on? Let's see if I if I can even add the RSI to this crazy chart here, and we can stick the look there. Okay. Now we got the RSI. All right, so we're taking a look at the RSI here again. I'm not. I don't ever really trade, you know, personally. Like, oh my God, I gotta buy because it's oversold or it's undersold. But we're seeing, obviously, we're seeing, you know, that we're getting down, down to the, you know, oversold area. You know, there's, you know, we're kind of slowing down here. Okay, which isn't always a good sign. First off, because you know we had this area here before where you know, $6,000 area, it was oversold, right? Kind of on this whole entire area here, it's kind of oversold there and it still went lower. So by no means am I telling you that this can't go lower, but what I want to talk about, you know, in this video really is just the overall idea that if I'm going to be buying here at the $9,000 area, I'm, I'm going to be buying it at the $9,000 area for a couple different reasons, you know, okay. If I'm buying here at 9,500, you know, where's my risk at? Well, clearly we've seen, you know, recently, can I pull this up here? Recently, we've touched down here to the $9,000 area multiple times. So that's that's a good sign in terms of me, you know, looking for a buy area. Why is that a good sign? Like I said, I'm looking for a support, a consolidation. Why is this chart so hard to draw a line on sometimes? What is this thing? Look at this. All right, we got an arrow here. Oh my, it's huge. We got another touchdown here. Look at this other touchdown. Just like that. Oh, another touchdown. And we're kind of, again, I like playing with these arrows right now. That's kind of cool, actually. Again, we're kind of just touching down that $9,000 area. I just want to really, draw, I want to draw a box. Hey, if you guys haven't already subscribed, help me, help me help you by hitting 100,000 subscribers sooner than later. I'm getting old, people, and I need to hit that 100,000 subscriber. I need that button. I need it sooner than later. I might be dying. Who knows? I don't know. I might have cancer. I might not. Help me help you. Hit that subscribe button. I talk about this a lot with, the, uh, with day trading in general, with the day trading videos we make. So we had previous resistance here at the $9,000 area. You can see right there, right above my head. See this green line right here? So we had that $9,000 area was previous resistance, right? That was back in June, back in May. We got up there to the $9,000 area and we went all the way up here to 14,000. Now, ever since then, we have not dipped back below uh, that previous resistance. So what does that mean? Now, with day trading in general, you know, normally we like to see that resistance break and then we like to see, you know, a nice big push to the upside and then we like to see a pullback to that previous resistance. And that's basically what we're getting right now. You know, we've got that nice big push showing that the buyers were still, there's people still trying to buy Bitcoin. I don't, I don't know why they're trying to buy it, but there are people who are still trying to buy it. And we see this pullback. Now we got these touches. So we got one, two, pretty much three touches down to that $9,000 area. And we really have not gotten below that $9,000 area. This is the low in this candle was 9,071. The low in this candle was 9,100. The low on these candles is 9,300. So 
basically that nine thousand dollar area is now showing us that there is you know some support there also check this out i mean you could call it just kind of a massive kind of bull flag maybe i mean i just call it like a right now kind of a descending triangle so we've got two options here obviously we always have two options and i'm betting on the first option which would be that we kind of consolidate a little bit longer we get tight in this area here and let's say in the middle of september we get tight in this area and then we push for another big push higher now obviously we know that the high before on this was there at the twenty thousand dollar area which ooh, look at this though it's just kind of interesting as well so let's say we draw a line from here to here like this now look at that it's almost like a big big just giant we draw lines everywhere so maybe this is just like another just another blip on the chart before we go even lower back down there to zero but like i said i do like that we're consolidating i do like that we're holding that nine thousand dollar area so i'm just slowly kind of putting my toes in the water here i'm just kind of buying you know not going crazy i'm not going to mortgage my house and not that i have a house to mortgage but i'm not going to mortgage my house and go and buy a bitcoin i'm not going to max out my credit cards to buy bitcoin but if i've got extra money laying around i might be buying these dips anything basically around nine thousand dollars to me seems like a safe buy because obviously you know eight nine thousand dollars would basically be my stop loss you know i'm buying at nine thousand dollar area and i'm basically betting or i'm planning on the idea that nine thousand dollars is going to hold here if it doesn't hold then i'll get out now i've made videos in the past talking about you know i don't want to be buying these crazy moves to the upside because okay let's say i buy let's say i buy right here eleven thousand dollars it went higher okay not a good example but let's say i bought here on this break you know twelve thousand you know where am i where's my stop at you know maybe maybe my stops down here at the ten thousand dollar area kind of that previous bounce there off ten thousand so I don't like that stop. I don't like that risk there. But I do like the risk of buying here at $9,000. Because I'm basically telling myself, hey, you know, I'm going to risk a couple hundred dollars per Bitcoin here for a possible, you know, five, six thousand dollar move to the upside. I mean, that's that's good trading of I've ever seen trading. I don't know about you guys, but that seems like pretty good trading to me. So that's what I'm watching. We do have the 200-day moving average. Uh, that's also kind of down here. Uh, that's right down at the $8,000 area right now. So some people are calling for the idea that we're going to move down to the $8,000 area one more time. This previous support there at the $8,000 area. Like I said, I'm just kind of keeping a close eye on it right now. I'm just kind of slowly buying this area here. If we can't hold 9,000, I'll end up jumping out. Uh, keeping my stop tight there if we do you know pull down here to this previous support area there i'll kind of again maybe look for another buying opportunity if we do bounce off the 200 day moving average but for me it's just all about managing my risk and also managing my stops here and knowing that if i'm going to be risking you know a couple hundred dollars i need to be making some money in return and i think the upside at this point the upside at this point with this type of parameters you know if i'm buying at nine thousand dollar area and I'm buying there for a possible move above $14,000. The risk reward is there. I'm risking a couple hundred dollars for a possible move, you know, for a couple thousand, couple thousand dollar move here. Buy the dip, sell the rip. And I think we're dipping right now. We might get one more little dip back down here in the $9,000 area if we get that. Uh, basically, I think, I think really for me, I think really for me right now, I'm just kind of, you know, like I said, I'm slowly buying. If we can get that, if we get one more big drop, another big washout down at the nine at the nine thousand dollar area, we pull back to nine thousand, and then we kind of hold that area one more time. I might end up loading up a little bit more because again, then I'm kind of limiting my risk to the downside because I'm buying at nine thousand, and pretty much anything around that area just kind of makes sense to me right now, as we've kind of had these previous bounces there. So Bitcoin. Making a move right now. I'm keeping an eye on it. Nine thousand dollar area. I think you can't go wrong. Obviously, you can go wrong. You know, if you do buy at nine thousand dollars, it could go down to zero dollars. Remember that it is cryptocurrency. There is no guarantees. There is no. There's nobody to stop it from going lower. There's no halts. It's, if it goes lower, it's going to go lower. But having a plan when it comes down to it, it 
is is really what is going to help you. <laughs> having a plan is going to help you. But having a plan here with trading Bitcoin is going to make it safer than just buying up here, you know, really with What's the return there? You know, if I'm buying here at 11,000, what I'm looking for a move to 14, I'm buying here at 9,000, I'm looking for a three or $4,000 move. I like the sound of that. Three or $4,000 times a couple of different Bitcoins, couple thousand profit, that's, yeah, it's good profit to me. The risk return, the risk to reward here is good. That's what it comes down to. The risk to reward is good. And that's why I'm buying. I'm not buying it because it's going to the moon, I'm not buying it because some guy on Twitter said that Bitcoin's going to $50,000 tomorrow. I'm buying it because the chart is showing me the risk to reward is good in terms of my personal risk and my personal reward. If I'm going to risk a couple hundred dollars, I want to make a couple thousand dollars. And that's really what it comes down to here, my friends. Having a plan, going into the trade with a plan and executing that plan when it works out. So here it is right now. I'm not telling you guys this is a buy and hold forever type plan. This for me is a buy it, sell the rip, look for opportunity, or get out. I'm gonna buy 9,000. If it dips below 9,000, I'm gonna get out of the trade. I'm not gonna hold it. I'm not gonna hope. I'm not gonna hope. I'm not gonna pray. I'm not gonna be doing any of that hoping and praying. I'm buying at $9,000 area. I'm selling if we can push above 14,000. And maybe I don't know. For above 14, we go to 20. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to put any type of profit target other than I'm looking for profit, a couple thousand dollars in profit per Bitcoin. I'm not just going to say, hey, I want to. I'm looking for a thirty thousand dollar goal here. I'm just looking for a risk to return or a risk to reward. I'm just looking for a good risk to reward, and I think that I've found that at this point. So. There it is. Putting it out there for you guys. If you agree with me, you can agree with me. If you don't agree with me, well, you can leave a comment down below telling me why. There it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this little 